Hey guys, um, this is my very first video, and I just want to start from the m number one most important thing is jailbreaking through 1.1.1 to up to either 1.1.3 or 1.1.4, whatever you want. But I think in this video, I'm just gonna show how to get to 1.1.4, and yeah. So I'm just right now. I'm just um. We're starting to 1.1.1 just to make this video, so I'm going to come back when I'm done restoring it, like it's running through iTunes, so I'll be back in a sec. Alright, I'm officially <clears throat> at 1.1.1 now. And I'll show you just to prove to you all these people that always say, oh well, yeah, I don't believe you. You're not going to follow the steps, but look, 1.1.1 right there. Alright. Alright, now... Usually when you go, when you restore, there's not going to be a connection, and like, if you have like a password on your, um, Wi-Fi, so, let me just connect to mine, one, one second, let me just type it in, hold on, let's set the camera down, you know, I'm going to be a little bit, so hold on, I'll come back when I'm done, alright, I'm connected. Now it's right here when you're going to type in, you want to type jail, break, jailbreak, me, dot com, jailbreakme.com, it should look something like this, there's all this crap you can read, I don't really read it, so it doesn't really matter, it, all you have to do is install one thing, okay, see something right here, it says install app snap, right there, install app snap, click it, That's gonna do this. It's gonna take over your Safari for a second. All right. So I turn left. There you go. You gotta install it right there. Now click on install. <coughs> now this is up to date, so it's gonna have to need a, a update for your installer. So just click update now. Just do it now. Just wait. It's really fast. It always says it donate later crap. Just click later. Donate later or whatever. It doesn't really matter. I don't even know what it is, but who cares? No one wants to give up their money for some stupid installer crap. Okay, now I'll go to install. Now go to all packages. Or you can click on sources. But anyways, look for community sources. Community sources. And you want to install that because that's gonna give you this thing called Octoprep and basically that's getting you prepped up for 1.1.2 that's where I'm going to take you to my next step just let this go I don't know my iPod's been pretty fast today I don't know why so, um, alright just refreshing and uh, alright now um, I think it's in, I'm pretty sure it is in system, oh no, just whatever, just go to all packages, there's not even that many packages anyway, scroll down to O, 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 to prep, click on it, install install just going to give you an RC you should go up to 1.1.2 and there you go next step 1.1.2 alright alright now this is what you have to do you have to go into iTunes, open up iTunes, alright, let's see, I'm at, actually, iTunes, alright, um, I'm gonna hold down shift, I gotta put the camera, gotta hold it up, I'm gonna hold down shift, yeah, shift and update, I'm just telling you, so you know exactly what to click, so now, you're gonna go to this thing I'm gonna put in the, um, in the, uh, side about in the, about this video it's gonna tell you about the 1.1.1.2 1. 1. 1. 
to um, restore. I'm gonna open that. Now I'm also gonna put on the right side. I'm gonna put 1.1.1 um, firmware. So like that's what I was doing at the very beginning, going down to 1.1.1. So I'm gonna give you something for that. So see, it's gonna be restoring. And my iPod is right now. So I'll come back to when it when this. One more thing, guys. It's go. It's still like restoring the 1.1.2. But my friend, iPod Touch Helper, but the O's are zero. It was some kind of creative name. He just thought that that would get more attention. Supposedly, he has some good videos of like good ways to clean your iPod Touch screen, like without using that uh, what's it called? Um, ammonia, without putting that in it because that'll ruin your iPod. And he knows exactly what to do. And he has another video about Guitar Hero 3. Um, source that's pretty cool you should check that out but yeah I'll have him on my friends soon so you could just go on my uh, on my uh, channel and just look for him but also subscribe if you like this video and it helps you out so it's still restoring but I'll come back also again once again when I'm done okay yay you're on 1.1.2 congratulations you want a cookie okay you can see the installer's gone basically. So you can just go and here I'll show you. Settings. General. Oh, about, sorry, I'm stupid. 1.1.2. Oh yeah, and go back to general. Now see, auto lock, you want that on never. Usually you don't even want, no one really wants that. Uh, put it in never because then the iPod won't just shut off. In the next process, you're going to be doing. 1.1.2 jailbreak time. Here we go. Alright, hold on. Let me put my camera down for a second so I can call to my computer. Alright. Well, I'm gonna have on the, about this video or whatever, it's gonna ha it's gonna say like, um, you know, like I, like I said, it's gonna have the firmware for 1.1.2, but so basically you're gonna also need a special thing for, um, 1.1.2 jailbreak. So hold on, let me get it for a second. All right. So I, yeah, you obviously just gotta download the jailbreak firmware. I got it already, so I'm gonna open it in the folder I already have it in. All right. Then there's gonna be all these different things, and I have Windows, and a lot of people do have Windows. They're doing this. I mean, some a lot of people actually also have um Macs because of the Apple. But this is basically for PC. So there should be a thing called Windows. You want to click double click on that. Open this. <clears throat> it'll open this. And it'll say that your real password is Alpine. Just leave it and install SSH. You want to do. You want to check install SSH or jailbreak. Now, <clears throat> I see a lot of videos that tell you to do when they tell you to do this. They always tell you. They always go, yeah, control delete and then end all the process. I personally have never done that well I have tried it and it just screws it up even worse and it, it gets me more pissed off and just want to throw my camera at, or my iPod at the at the screen um you don't really need to do that just leave it how it is just screw them <laughs> but anyways just see it's gonna be going so it's gonna be say jailbreaking that's good in the progress but if there's an error that comes up I'd say just either restart your iPod or reconnect or something, I don't know. But yeah, that's a good idea to do so. But anyways, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna come back when this is done. And when it's done, if <clears throat> if it does not come up with a thing that says you're done or whatever, well, I, I, no, you know, never mind. I'm gonna be at that point, so I'm gonna tell you when I come back. So just, I'll be back. But told you you didn't need to do that thing. This should come up. If not, um, I have no idea, because this is exactly what should happen. Don, reboot your device, whatever. Right, it's time to reboot.